Hello, this is and welcome back to another video. In today's one, we're going to be looking at all the Tim and Tcom books that are coming out in January. And I won't lie, it is really disappointing just because so far there's only been three books that have been announced for January, and one of them is not even a new comic book, so it is really <laughs> sad to think just because like last year we got like quite a few comics a month, and yet here we are, three and Oh, it's going to be an interesting month, so um, yeah, let's just get into this one because <laughs> it's not going to be a good, good month for total content. <laughs> okay, so starting us off on January 10th, we do have the Tim and T, the Samuel Adventures, issue number 9. So this issue will be drawn by Dan Shroon again and be written by Eric Brown. And this one is supposed to be picking up where they left off with the whole story arc with them building the sword and stuff like that. So this issue is going to be an interesting one with what we're going to be doing. And by description alone, it sounds like it's going to be a really fun and interesting issue. So for the description itself, it is Shredder and Krang have finally succeeded in forging a blade capable of cutting through time and space. Call the uh, call to action to stop Shredder from committing more uh, uh, quantum moon uh, crimes. Uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles encounter enemies and allies, old and new, or maybe new and old. As the timeline is threatened, don't miss the first issue of the Samuel Adventures, the Itokuku uh, Trilogy. So yeah, I must admit, I do think that this issue sounds really fun, just so great and amazing with like timelines and multiverses and stuff like that, so I think it could be an interesting issue with what it could be doing in this one. And also not to mention, it's another story issue, so like that alone just sounds like it's just going to be a really great issue. And I'm quite interested by this title as well, by the Itukuku uh, trilogy, I know I said it wrong. Um, but to me that sounds like it could be like three issues for this story. However, I don't know if they're looking at it like another way and saying that this is the final part in this trilogy of comics just because they had like the first part with Shogun the Comet and then you had the other part where Shredder was uh, collecting something from Dimension X or something from the swamps and stuff like that. So I don't know how to go around it in terms of like the trilogy aspect of it, but either way that does sound fun. And then also not to mention that we do have this little bit here where it says that it's going to be teaming up with allies old and new, or new and old, which I just don't know what to really say that, just because, like, it could be interesting with who they could bring into the series in terms of, like, new characters, old characters, and that's something which I must admit I'm really interested in, just because I'm real know who these new characters are and stuff like that, so I think that's got, possibly got to be the most interesting part about this issue. So for the covers, we do have uh, cover A, which is done by Jack Lawrence, which was really cool. We was told us, like standing in the middle of like, the multiverse of foot soldiers, that's uh, kind of cool, I won't lie. Uh, we do have uh, cover B, which is done by Dan Shewing, and this one we do get Steve Tolls busting through a wall. Now this one is like an homage to, I believe it's like a video game from the 90s, which I must admit is pretty cool, and just seeing that it's done in this artwork, it just like, really stands out for being unique. And then we do have the 110 and 125, which is done by Tim Lavis. And this artist has been on the, uh, this stuff before, where it did, uh, I believe it was issue 3 for the series, uh, for one of the covers. And it looks pretty cool to see him show uh, going down on the turtles, it looks pretty cool. So yeah, that issue will be coming out on January 10th. And then for the final thing that will be coming out on January 10th, it is the Tim and T and Seki Jimbo, Where When Trey Pig Back. Now this one will be collecting all 5 issues. And I'm not too sure what I can really say about this book, other than what I've already said about the like the past few issues. Like it's there, it collects them all, and there's not really too much I can really say about it. It's it's just gonna be like one of those things that collects them all, and if you want to collect it, you can, and stuff like that. And this book will be going for about twenty-two dollars, which I think that's a pretty decent price, especially if we're getting with all this stuff in there with like five issues and stuff like that. Now, I don't know if there's going to be anything new in this book in terms of like new content, because I know that with the direct card they included like the original pages and sketches for the issue, also some like original plans for the series. So, I don't know if they're going to be including like anything like that. I've got to think they're going to be including like all the different covers that were put out for this series. But I think other than that, I think it's just going to be you know, the five issues and stuff like that, so yeah, it's just going to be one of those things that you want it, you can go and collect it, it comes out on January 10th, and yeah, I wish I could say much more than that, but unfortunately I can't because I've already said everything I wanted to. <laughs> okay, and then for the final book, it is the Tim and T, the RW ongoing series, issue 147. Now this book was supposed to be coming out on January 17th, but it got delayed to January 24th, so... 
I won't lie, it's a little bit disappointing, but on the other hand, we are still getting this issue, so I can't complain too much. Now, this book will be written by Sophie Campbell, finishing up her last story arc for her run Turtles, and this book will also be drawn by Vincent Federick, and yeah, he's been doing the last few issues and also done game game stuff, so yeah. Now, the description for this issue it is Armageddon's intentions are revealed, and it's worse than Donto could have ever imagined. The very fabric of reality is at stake. And back in the present, Leonardo's uh, new presence is on the path towards destruction. Can Donatello find a way to stave off Armagon's attack, or is it time for the team of T? Uh, the road for, uh, for issue 150 continues here, and uh, yeah, I must admit that overall, the description doesn't really like give off too much in terms of what they could be talking about in this issue. I mean, most of the stuff we already did like know about from the last few issues. I mean, Bob's uh, path for destruction, that was somewhat pretty obvious because it's the future Bob and I'm surprised when no one's really found that out that it's not their Bob and stuff like that. Uh, the Armageddon's intentions are revealed, I think it's just because he wants to die and wants to kill the timeline and stuff like that. However, I've got a feeling that there could be a little bit more to it because Don't Tell Us met up with the future Raph, uh, Renette and Lita, so there could be a lot more to it than what we do initially know about. But other than that, I, I think that this description is okay, but it doesn't really give anything new, which that is somewhat interesting, just because that could go down two ways, where it's either like, not much really happens, or the other option is, which I think is more likely, is the fact that there's going to be something really big that's going to be happening with this issue, and I wouldn't be too surprised if there is something big that goes down with this issue, because normally when they do like, these kind of descriptions where it's just like not much, there's normally something big in them, so I wouldn't be too surprised if there's something there, so I guess that'll be a wait and see type situation. So for the covers, we do have cover A, which is done by Vincent Frederick. Uh, we do have cover B, which is done by Kevin Eastman and Seth Campbell. And must admit, it looks pretty cool seeing the different worlds of the magic side of things in the ten uh, like tentacle side of things with April in the middle. It looks pretty cool, and just like something that works really well for the story and stuff like that. Now for the 110 variant, it is done by uh, George Krona. Uh, I'm pretty sure I might have said it wrong, so sorry, but we do get to see the turtles as running around through space, uh, being chased by Armagon. It looks pretty cool, it does like really work in like the whole thing of the Armagon stuff and all that. It looks pretty cool. Um then we do have the one t uh, and then we do have the 125 and 150, which is basically the 110 and cover B but in black and white, so you know there's not too much that I can really say about it. <laughs> We do have another cover done by Hugh Rockwood, and this one is for the Big Country Comics, uh, and I don't know too much about uh, the Big Country Comics things or anything like that, but this one does look pretty cool, we do get to see all five turtles on there, look pretty, pretty great. And then for the last cover, it's done by Mick Roof, and this one can be available on Mick Roof and uh, Danny Harrell's uh, sites, I believe. So I must admit, they do look really cool, the like, like, cover itself looks really amazing. So yeah, I, I don't know what to really say about it, it's just... Like, pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just great for how to get the cover out there. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, overall, I do feel like this month uh, is pretty lacking in terms of content just because there's only three books coming out and one of them's not even new content. So, a little disappointed by it, but at the same time, with how many comics I did get last year, it is a little nice to have like a little break, but at the same time, I would like a little bit more because, you know, how many comics we got last year. But I do feel like this month could be interesting with the content where we do our, like, we are getting with the future ref and the future turtle stuff in the RW ongoing series and the the Ijukuku tr trilogy uh, stuff. That could be interesting depending on how I go around it. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think about all this. Are you looking forward to it? Are you not? And, uh, yeah. Uh, that's gonna be it for today, guys. If you want please share lots of scrub not stuff. Good. Bye. Yo. Bye. Uh.